Hi everybody, Andrew here. Uh, welcome back to the RLD video tutorial series. So uh, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a selection grid snap. Yeah, it's a feature which allows you to um, snap selected objects to the grid. Uh, and I have here a really basic tile setup, uh, which you could use to, for example, build uh, tile worlds. Um, and I'm just going to show you how this feature works. Let me just select a bunch of these grass tiles. If I hold down the B key on the keyboard, uh, you can see we get this green dot that we can move around. Um, it pretty much, so this feature, if you've used vertex snapping in, uh, in the Unity editor, this feature is pretty much the same as vertex snapping, but it applies to, um, it, it works with the bounding volumes of the objects, right, instead. So, um, and in order to, to start uh, using it, uh, as I said, you have to hold down the B key then move the mouse to select a pivot point uh, which is one of the corner points of the object volumes and then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse to move these objects uh, on the grid um, and you can snap to the grid cell corner points or you can you can actually also snap to uh, a cell uh, center point right so the corners and the center uh, depending on which one is closest to the mouse cursor position yeah so you can just uh, quickly move objects like this around. Yeah. Uh, you can do the same with vertex snapping also. When you have the move gizmo active, you can also vertex snap uh, to the grid. Uh, the advantage of the advantage of uh, selection snap is that it's independent on the currently active gizmo, so you don't have to have the move gizmo active. For example, if I have the rotation gizmo active, press the B key and there, there you go, right? And it works particularly well with uh, tiles, but pretty much any, you know, um, modular uh, game objects, uh, sorry, prefabs that you're using will benefit from, uh, from this feature. Uh, again, it only snaps to, to grid. If you need to snap object to object, you can use object to object snapping or vertex snapping. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.